Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to take a look at how to actually physically remove one of the stock coolers from your AMD processor when you're trying to do an upgrade and the darn thing is stuck. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so now we're getting towards the end now, so this is how to actually remove the stock cooler. Now, the first thing to do, if you can, if the system is still fully built and operational, a good thing to do is actually just run something like Cinebench R23, get the CPU nice and warm. That will actually make the uh, the thermal paste that we use, such as the MX4, that kind of stuff, or even the stock thermal compound. Getting it hot will make it a little bit more viscous and allow the cooler to come off easy. If it's completely cold, it will solidify. So obviously if it is cold, what you can do run Cinebench, things like that. If the system isn't operational, then something you can do is actually just get a hairdryer and aim it towards this fin sink. It's not gonna be overly quick to do that. It will take a little while, but essentially get some warmth into the actual fins themselves down here, and then you'll find that it's easier to remove. So in order to remove it, once you've done that and you're happy that it's relatively cool, what we wanna do is do about five turns, do opposing sides, One, two, three, four, five. Now the reason we do this on opposing sides is because if you do it all on one section, so say for instance we do both of these, I'll turn it around a bit. So if we do both of these at the same time, because it's under spring tension, it's gonna to wanna to lift up like that, which could potentially rip the CPU out of the socket as well, which is the last thing we want to happen. So what we wanna try and do is to undo the screws in a kind of crisscross-ish pattern. And just make sure they're fully undone. Now what you can do is, if the, you've got access to the back plate, if you do this on a system, you may find that the back plate will actually fall off, which is uh, gonna make things much, much easier. So as you can see there, the back plate is falling out the back of the board. So if our CPU cooler is actually stuck, what we can do is with the back plate out of the way, because the screws are now not captive, what we can do is apply a little bit of gentle sideways rotation, and we can actually, yeah, just about, we're starting to break the seal there on the paste. So gentle movement from side to side, do that a few times and it will gradually, it will kind of soften up a little bit. And then what you can do is use a very, very small amount of lateral pressure and eventually, there we go, then it's eventually it's broken the seal as you can see there. So just be gentle with it. You can see actually our paste application was pretty good. We had a pretty decent coverage there. But that's one thing you wanna do is to remove this back plate, get the back plate away from the motherboard. That will allow these screws to easily kind of rotate a little bit without damaging anything. So a little bit of rotation, just a couple of degrees in each direction and you should find that your CPU paste will kind of, uh, well, it will eventually it will break free without you having to kind of wrench the, the cooling fan off. Again, the hotter it is, the easier it is to come off, and if it's been on there for a long, long time, it's gonna be even harder. So just be patient, be careful, just very, very small minute mo movements, and that will break down that paste and allow it to break free. So there you go, there's some tips and tricks on how to remove the AM4 style stock cooler from your AMD rig when the thing is stuck pretty fast on there and it just doesn't want to budge. So if you like this video, don't forget to drop a like on it. And if you've got anyone who might appreciate this type of content, feel free to share it with them. But in the meantime, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we will catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.